Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and a new video. Today we're going to be building an apartment. Um, I think it's in 910? Is that 9? I can't really see because the screen's like kind of small um, in the editor, but I think it's 910 Medina Studios. Um, if you have the City Living Pack, it's basically the apartment that, um, what's his name? Benali? I can't remember his first name for some reason. Um, anyways, that's his apartment. It's like the really run down, very small one. Um, it's got a lot of the like challenges for like the apartments in city living where there's like the pipes and like the electrical um, panel that like goes out or like the mice in the holes and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's that apartment. I think it's, I just remembered his name. I think it's Salim Benali. I think that's who lives here. Um, but yeah. So it's that apartment, if you're wondering where this is built, and, um, I, as you can see, like, obviously, like, most of the apartments in City Living have the very tall walls, so I decided to platform most of the apartment except for the entrance part. I tend to do that a lot with City Living apartments if I'm gonna, like, uh, build in them or play in them, um, just cause I prefer a shorter wall height. Um, especially for like apartments. I think they did it um, like the Sims team made most of the walls tall just because I think they were thinking that if it's an apartment it would like make up for the space that you might not have if it's like a smaller apartment but a lot of the apartments are pretty big so but anyways I just put it on a platform so it wasn't so much height um, and yeah I think I prefer doing this um, in those kinds of apartments, but uh, I'm just kind of trying to figure out a floor plan at this point because I didn't know if I wanted to do a floor plan that I've done before or try something different. And this time I decided to leave it as um, like a studio apartment. I usually uh, like try and section some kind of like a room, like a bedroom out of this apartment when I use it. But this time I just decided to leave it as like a studio and then just have obviously a closed off bathroom um, for privacy and those things. But yeah. And then I remembered, um, just as you can see now, I'm pulling out some of the pieces from the um, combos, I think it's called, the combo set from Pierre Sim because uh, I really wanted to use like those pieces that look like um, it's like an attic. It's just like the arches that go on the wall um yeah it gives like kind of lofty attic sort of vibes um so i kind of wanted to go for that in this apartment i thought it was like a good size to use it um and like with the windows and everything i thought it would look really cool so i'm glad that i remembered that because i like the way that it turned out with um these sort of like angled pieces here um, as you can see, I am using the tool mod to like move some of the um, like pipes and electrical panels and the mouse holes and the vent and all that kind of stuff because um, I still wanted there to be like that gameplay of, you know, a kind of uh, apartment that has all those like sort of issues and everything. Um, I didn't want to take it out all the way for the gameplay aspect so I did just sort of move it around so it was a bit more convenient for where I wanted to place items um, but you'll still be able to have the gameplay there and if you don't want to have that gameplay there because um, you find it annoying then you can just uh, delete it with the tool mod if you would like to but I thought I'd leave it here just because um, that's part of like the challenge of this apartment um, but yeah uh, I'm just putting a couple of the angled pieces near where the bed is and um, the like little shelving units that go in there. I really like that detail. Uh, I didn't put like a side table or anything just because those were already there and I figured, I don't know, they would just put like their phone or their like, I don't know, retainer, <laughs> the things that you kind of like set aside when you're going to bed at night um, in those little shelves on the side. So I didn't put um, like a side table or anything in those spots, but I like it. I like the way it looks there, um, and I think that the angled pieces really lend themselves well to like the shape um, of the angled window as well, like the sort of rounded windows. So yeah, I like how this turned out. It was kind of 
I usually kind of like think out what I'm gonna build usually um, for the channel so this was unusual in the sense that I kind of just went in here and started building I didn't really know what I was gonna do um, but I actually ended up liking it so that's good most of the time when I do that and I just kind of like open up the game and start recording with like no idea or plan um, it's usually something that I scrap and it never sees the light of day um, but this time it worked out so I'm happy that I could get it to work and I like this apartment but yeah um, the past uh, apartment that I did was really bright and colorful so I decided that with this apartment I wanted to do maybe something a little bit more neutral. It wasn't like a concerted effort that I made, but um, I guess I was just feeling neutral vibes, um, but it did go in that direction. Cause I think at some point, I think I pulled out a piece and I was gonna make it kind of bright. And then in that moment I was like, nah, I think I'm just gonna stick to like earth tones and things like that. So that's kind of the vibe that it has. Um, I turn like uh, the game like time set thing <laughs> um, to nighttime here just so I could figure out what the lighting was gonna look like at night. Um, as always, we know that I really like lighting, so I have to figure out the kind of mood that I want it um, to feel like. So, and also I figured out when I was like doing sort of not base game builds, but just like not non-CC builds basically, um, that I could get an idea of how I wanted a space to look if I turned it to nighttime and then was doing the lighting first. I don't know why, but if I just made like a blank room, like an empty room, and then I set the time to night and then I'm like placing furniture pieces here and then, you know, I put in a light source, I find it makes me build better I don't know what it is I think it's just because I get the sense of like what the room feels like I think maybe just nighttime lighting is very like I don't know like it's it's like that quiet time at night where people are like home from work or something and they're just you know in their space it just makes me feel like I, I can get a sense of what the space is gonna feel like when someone's at their most like relaxed I think I think that's what it is but for some reason that like gets me in the mind of like the sim that lives there and um, like what it would feel like and what the space would look like if I can't figure out like a floor plan or what I want the room to look like so I guess that's a tip a very long-winded <laughs> um tip uh if you're having trouble like building a space and like everything you do you're like ah bulldoze that like i hate it um maybe you'd, like turn it to nighttime and then build a room and then just kind of set up what it looks like at night when someone's just comfy in their space because then i feel like it kind of comes together naturally and yeah i don't know that's a little thing that i discovered during building <laughs> um in the game this week so yeah anyways um just another thing i was gonna like mention um it was interesting when i was building this apartment um for some reason i started thinking of ratatouille <laughs> i don't know why like the movie ratatouille i think it might be the color scheme because it's got like the the creams and the sort of really warm tone wood tones and things like that um and the sort of like earthy greens and things i don't know what it is but something about i think the colors of this apartment reminded me of ratatouille so that is something that i was thinking about <laughs> while building it um which is kind of funny because when i do the kitchen area it's not big I mean this like it's a studio apartment so it's not gonna have like a massive kitchen or anything but um, it's just kind of like a row of counters and that's it because uh, I still wanted to have like a little sitting space so that sims could go and eat um, so yeah it's just basically like a row of 
cabinets and counters and then a little area to eat in front of it but um, yeah there's not a lot of cooking space but I was thinking about chefs and um, ratatouille um, while building it so that's kind of funny I don't remember what I haven't watched the movie in a, a while I don't remember what um, Linguini's apartment looks like like does it look like this am I just like thinking about what he looks like inadvertently and I didn't even remember um, I don't know. I don't know if it looks like his apartment, but that's what my brain was thinking about, um, when doing this apartment. So, yeah. Uh, let me know if you also think of a Ratatouille while looking at this apartment. I don't know. Um, or maybe what it reminds you of. Um, maybe it just reminds you of anything. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, but anywho, you can see now that I'm building that um, row of counters and things like that that make up the kitchen. Um, I just kind of use these base game counters. I was gonna use like a CC one, but then I was like, I don't know. I just felt right to use these ones. It like suited it immediately. Um, and I think I would have, if I used like CC counters, I think I would have gone for a color. Um, and I do like a lot of color cabinet counter kitchens a lot um so i just decided to do these like wooden base game ones and then of course like the um cabinets above it um are cc so um but i thought they matched pretty well with it and i i liked the um i don't know what it's called actually but like that not i don't think it's like fabric i think it's like that that weaved i don't know why i can't remember what it's called but you know what i'm talking about that <laughs> that like material that's inside of the um, cabinet doors. Um, I like that little extra touch there with that. So I decided to use those um, instead of using the base game cabinets. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to use them, you can just like use the base game cabinets. Like if you don't want to have to go and like get the CC for the cabinets only. Um, and as always, of course, the CC is linked in the download below. So it just comes in one big zip file. Um, well, it's pretty small, usually the file size, but it'll come inside of the um, file that is linked in the description, which comes with the tray files and um, like a list of where you can get the CC. But yeah, um, if you don't want to do that, then you can just use the base game cabinets. Um, that match with it. Um, anyways, we're in the bathroom now, and I think I use... I don't think I use, like, any CC in here, except for maybe a rug, I think. Um, I kept it really simple, because it's just, like, I don't know, <laughs> I wasn't feeling like decorating the bathroom this time, so I just kind of made it very simple, um, put the necessities in here. I wanted it to feel a little bit old. I wanted the whole apartment to feel a little bit older, so, um, yeah, I don't know. It's like it's been here in the city for a really long time, um, and it's just kind of updated very slightly over the years that it's been here, but that was the kind of idea, I think, um, that I had as I was building it, um, but yeah. I don't know who lives here. I wasn't really, like, thinking that deep into it. Um, obviously I was, like, not paying attention that much to story and I was thinking about Ratatouille the whole time. Um, so, like, anyone could live here, I guess. Um, it could be a writer or an artist or, I don't know, maybe an a a up-and-coming chef or, like, someone who wants to be a chef. Uh, I don't know who this would fit. Maybe an art critic. Or a food critic. Ooh, Ratatouille vibes. A food critic could live here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking that deep into like the story of The Sim. I was just kind of doing it um, by my own whims. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we're coming to a close now. It's getting to the end. And uh, that's pretty much it for this build. And I will see you guys next time on the channel with another video. Um, as always, everything's linked into the file in the description. Um, 
and I hope that you all have a good day or night wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.